So this video is an example of where correlation does not mean cause and effect. The byproduct is lactic acid. And as you're seeing in the sponge here, lactic acid builds up in your muscles. So that's why you get that burn when you're working out hard. Zero. And if people could, would understand that concept within YouTube Fitness, it would wipe away a lot of the misinformation that you are given. And so this idea of lactic acid causing that burning sensation within your muscles during heavy or high intensity maximal effort exercise is completely wrong and incorrect. And so to start, lactate and lactic acid are not technically the same thing. Now, when we hear about lactic acid within fitness, these two terms are uh, interchangeably used. However, we need to be clear that lactate is different to lactic acid. Now, for the purpose of this video and the message I will give you, the actual differences do does not matter greatly, but I will be referring to lactate in this video. The difference comes down to the chemical structure, whereas where lactic acid has a, a, a hydrogen ion which is available for donation, and so it's this proton which is different to the chemical structure of lactate, but that doesn't matter. You don't need to bog down your mind with that for this video. What is the main point of this video is that you should not fear lactate. And so we need to understand what it is first. And so when our body produces energy, it can do this in many ways. It can do this with oxygen during sort of aerobic work where we are able to consume oxygen during these activities and also anaerobically where we struggle to consume enough oxygen due to the activity we're doing. Now, for example, hill sprints or some sort of maximal effort weightlifting and without oxygen, our body can use a process called anaerobic glycolysis to produce energy, to produce ATP. And when we are not able to consume enough oxygen, our body temporarily converts something called pyruvate into lactate. And this lactate allows for glucose breakdown and therefore for the production of energy. And you have to understand that lactate production is a usable source of energy and it has its function within the body. And so it most certainly is not the boogeyman of fitness and something you want to avoid. And the issue has been with, with some people and, and sort of aged research that there was a correlation between an increase in lactate production and acute fatigue during exercise. And so people wrongly attributed this correlation to a straight cause and effect. And in fact, it is not. And so within this anaerobic glycolysis, we have the production of this lactate, which is not actually causing this acute fatigue within your muscles. So what is causing that? Well, it's actually an accumulation of protons. And, and, it's, and this accumulation of protons creates an acidic environment which is creating that burning sensation. Because as the amount of protons increase during this, this anaerobic process, the P, our pH levels will decrease, which, which creates this acidic environment. And through that process, you're actually releasing these acidic protons, which positively charged hydrogen ions. And you know the pH will drop if the protons start to accumulate. And that's really where, where that acute fatigue uh, mechanism is, is sort of um, based on, is that proton accumulation. So that's why when we work out really hard and then we're doing high intensity exercise sprints and things of that sort, that's why we feel those effects. Too many protons. Yeah, too many protons, man. And that's, that's <laughs> it right there. And, and Dr. Joe explains this sensation as in a way an innate protective mechanism to the stress of anaerobic hypoxic like conditions. Hypoxic meaning the, the, absence, of, the absence of oxygen a biological stop signal, if you will. And you have to think about it, it's, it's a protective mechanism because when you're, when you're exercising above your anaerobic threshold, like doing max effort sprints, your CrossFits and all that stuff, um, it's a metabolically stressful environment. And what I mean by that is that you're, you're lowering that pH, you're creating this acidic environment, which is damaging to cells. And so as a protective mechanism, your body tries to stop. The, the, the stress that is causing that, right? So it's like a biological stop signal. And the burning sensation is the same thing. We think about pain. What is pain from a biological standpoint? It's a protective mechanism, it's a message. Right? So there is actually a biological purpose to this kind of acidic environment that is created during this anaerobic exercise. And it's a signal to, to you to, to stop that exercise, a protective mechanism so you don't damage your body. 
And so now, does that mean you have to absolutely stop what you're doing? No, of course you don't. You, you use specificity. Of course, you take breaks in between your sets, your training, etc. But most certainly, this is a, a stop signal, which is produced by the body. And we have various stop signals, uh, biological inherent stop signals in, in many, many areas of physical fitness. And so this was just a quick sort of myth buster. And is this something that you absolutely need to know and apply? Well, no, it's not. You don't need to think about lactate production. But what you can do is understand again how a really common piece of information has used, has wrongly used correlation as cause and effect. And most certainly, if you're someone that fears lactate, that fears anaerobic training because of the production of lactate, you don't need to fear it. You just need to make sure that you're programming correctly. And so with the high maximal effort, you would decrease your volume and your frequency, depending, of course, on, on your training goals and specificity. So I hope this was useful. Trade of Sports Science. I'll see you soon.